Hey guys, in the watermelon patch. Just want to show you guys what I take on my bicycle tour for 1700 kilometers. You probably don't need as much as I do, but better take um, precautions if you need. I take, yeah, a fair bit of tools, so I'll show you that right now. Okay, here's all the stuff that I have. <coughs> this is what I'm taking. Um, some of it's not all essentials. Probably could go with a bit less. A um, bit less gear. But yeah, here we go. Here's some like... Here's a um, jersey, pretty old. <laughs> probably needs a good wash. Um, this is a scarf wear around your neck uh, to keep the sun off really handy really handy especially here in North Queensland where you probably get a little burnt really fucking easy and here's a good old rag good old moths sunshine clothes <laughs> moffat beach shorties um, maybe the laptop I don't know if I have to bring it I think the phone's usually good enough here we have zinc. Really handy, man. Really helps you not get burnt. Really protects your skin, and yeah, it's a good brand. There's, um, there's not much in it. Not many. Uh, there's not, and there's like no bad chemicals, so it's all good. Um, here we are, two cone spanners. Cone spanners. If you need to uh, access your wheel bearings. Which probably fucking won't. <laughs> I probably won't. I definitely won't have to do that on this tour, but you never know. Better safe than sorry. And then we have um, leather multi tool. It's a bit broken, but still works perfectly fine. Uh, you have gear cable cutters. Well, gear cable or brake cable cutters. Really handy, man. I, I've had this for at least two years, and man, buy one. Um, knife and spoon. That's the thing I'm taking. That's the cutlery, <laughs> so I don't stab anything. Um, these go together: the um, cassette lock ring tool and the chain whip, just to take your cassette off if I ever need to. Really handy tool. Really handy um, screwdriver. That's the uh, I don't know. I usually just um, the rear derailleur with that. It's really handy to have. Here, what else we have? Um, just a lot of mixed stuff. Has like um, cable end caps for the um, gear cables. Really handy. Um, tube, glue, um, patches few little things could come in handy um, band-aids maybe maybe I might <coughs> if I ever take a crash or anything which I don't think I will um, always there to help uh, yeah <laughs> razor blade um, probably don't need them to cut my hair always handy that's probably not essential you probably don't need that um, we need spare spokes. <laughs> well, you never know, like, if you, um, because if you have a heavy load on the back, I've broken spokes before on the bike. And, yeah, it isn't pretty. So, yeah. You have Garmin 310 XT. Works pretty well. Bit of a scratch there, if you can see. Um, yeah. It's pretty good. Um, Dad's hole in one trophy. Sorry, Dad, but oh, it's coming back. Traveling 1,700 kilometers. Um, jumper. A few, three pairs of clothes, I'd say. And goon bag to um, keep me hydrated. <laughs> um, yeah, with that, I'll, if I ever need to, um, need to stop for water, there's no water for um, a long time. I'll just fill that up and it's like about five litres. That's pretty good. 
keep you hydrated. Um, chain oil. <laughs> I just use cheap vegetable oil because I'm too poor um, to afford other stuff. Um, really handy. Really handy. I love this thing, the torque wrench. So, so much better than taking the Allen key out of my saddlebag every time. Uh, it's this solar charger. I just bought this on eBay. I think it was like 50 bucks. And yeah, I hooked that up to the uh, power bank. So yeah, just I can charge anything, anything I want. And Garmin 800. That's awesome. Uh, pair of thongs, pair of running shoes and um, cycling shoes. Don't know if I'll. I don't know if I'll need my um, running shoes. I don't know if I'll go running when I get down to the sunny coast. B um, twelve. Definitely need that. <laughs> oh, and then really good. You want to buy like good gear cables and gear cable housing really handy man if like you buy the cheap shit and it's cheap stuff then it just breaks so easily this stuff is like really durable and yeah smooth when shifting it's incredible this GoPro um, runner's knee strap for runner's knee whenever I get it uh, hydration tablets if you ever get dehydrated, that's a really good way to get hydrated again and abuse them. Over here. Sleeping bag. Um, it's rated to minus five degrees, which you probably won't need, but better safe than sorry. Um, a June bivy bag. Weighs 1.5 kilos. Such a good tent. I really like it. It's not not like a small bivy. It's a lot um a lot more spacious. I have a thermarest thermarest mat. Sleep on my back. And I don't know <laughs> I don't know why I bought this, but just for comfort, like a pillow, an inflatable pillow. We have um. A rain jacket, I mean rain pants, and then we have a rain jacket right here. It's really good. Uh, got bought um, six tubes. <laughs> That's probably way too many, but I had I just had them laying around, so I might as well chuck them in. Um, this really handy device. It's called the life straw. Yeah, take one of these because <clears throat> if, you, if you're ever in um, remote remote areas in Australia, like I will be, um, yeah, it could save your life. Really could. Dehydration's a killer, so don't be a fruitarian that fucking <laughs> that doesn't drink any water because you won't survive. So here's what I got. It's all of it. Oh, and my uh, arm. It's going to use all the pennies. Not bad, they're pretty good. Um, maybe this bag as well. I don't know. Yeah, here's 